What's up guys? So today I am going to film a Takis commercial. Deep inside your soul is a flavor that burns. Feel the burn. This right here. Uh, since my McRib one got a lot of uh, attention, um, I wanted to push myself and do this uh, this type of filming, this type of content every single month and give you a behind the scenes look at how I do it, what I do, everything that goes into it. And um, I wish it was just as easy as just filming handheld and all that stuff. But uh, as you can see, look around here. I got my whole rig set up right there. I already got my red jalapeno on my turntable and everything's set up. I got my lights for my GoPro, so this footage looks decent. So uh, let's jump into this and see what we're gonna do. I'm gonna start filming some content and uh, I'm gonna bring you along for the journey. So let's go. So the first thing I'm going to film is uh, these jalapenos, these right here, floating in the air and then I'm going to have to, uh, I'm going to have to take out the little sticks in post production to make them look like they're floating. So this is kind of the rig I have set up here where I just cut up some bamboo uh, little sticks, some skewer sticks, stuck them on there but I need a stand so I got this little box that I had lying around with some foam that I had from a TV that I brought, that I bought, I'm sorry, and uh, close it up, stick it in so it doesn't move, and there you go. So I'm just gonna chop up some of these limes real quick, and I'm gonna do the exact same thing. I got the prettiest ones that were available, so. Exact same thing, I'm gonna do one at a time, pop it in, it looks nice and pretty, juicy, pop it in the box, boom, let's go do these. It's gonna look like that. By the way guys, if you like what you've seen, uh, subscribe to my channel, I'm always doing something uh, involving footage, involving cameras, involving drones, involving commercial shoots, involving... Um, professional shoots and all that kind of stuff so I'm trying to grow my YouTube channel and uh, I'm almost monetized on this channel so with your help by watching this whole thing uh, it YouTube will deem this uh, content worthy of uh, it being pushed out to new people so um, I just need your attention <laughs> I need you to watch the whole thing subscribe comment on what you want me to do next the crazy part about what this stuff does is I, I've been working with a lot of uh, local businesses since I started my whole production and advertising uh, company but the McRib sandwich got me a lot of work from uh, and a lot of attention from people that wanted to start working with me for video production and I had to turn a lot of it down and some lady even had the audacity to say that that talent should be used for local production I was like that's what I do for a living let's get on with the shoot all right, so for this next shot, I'm setting up my hero shots. And uh, <clears throat> this is the last or first scene that I'm gonna push out in the actual content. So I wanna make sure that I get all my props. And I also still need to do the, uh, the macro shot with this bad boy right here. <laughs> You know, <laughs> where we're from is we eat super unhealthy and then we get a Diet Coke with it. So <laughs> for that, I got my little Diet Coke prop right here and uh, we're gonna try to get a cool slow motion shot with it. Don't forget, if you like what you saw, hit that subscribe button and watch my stuff all the way through and put in the comments what you want me to film. I'm always looking for ideas, something to film creatively. So drop it in the comments below. Let's go back. All right, so for this next shot, 
I need to get this bad boy coming out of the Takis bag with the Takis in there. And that's what I'm and that's what I'm talking about. A macro shot. That this uh this lens specifically is oh man. Specifically for that. So uh so what I'm gonna do is I need to set this stage again here and Ooh, I have a medium in a bit. Thank God for calendars. All right, so I need to set that in here. Get all my Takis back in this bag. Set it. Somehow, where this camera is gonna go. If you don't have the all the stuff that you need for these types of shoots, get creative. And I think that's one of the things that stops a lot of people is that I don't have the equipment. I don't have the right equipment, but honestly, just get creating and you'll accomplish a lot. I guarantee it. So pretty much what's going to happen is this is going to come out of the bag, sliding it out this way. And that's going to be our macro shot. So that's going to be in here, which I'm gonna have to adjust my lighting. Now what I'm about to do, do not try this at home, but I need it for the effect. So uh, we're gonna try it out and it's, uh, Whew, fire! Do not do this at home. I'm not responsible for your crazy ass stuff, all right? Do it. All right, so all we got next is the voiceover. I think that's one of the things that uh, differentiates a lot of things or a lot of content creators is if you can do the whole total package with the uh, shooting, editing, the ideas, the voiceover, put it all together, package it up and make it look pretty. So let's go do a voiceover. All right, so one of the last steps that we're gonna do is the voiceover. And I use my Podcaster Pro, my Rode Pro, to uh, record the voiceovers because it gives it a more professional feel. Let's get this started. Feel the burn. Feel the burn. Feel the burn. Burn. Feel the burn. Feel the burn. Takis, lemon chips. Feel the burn. Burning inside. Burning deep inside your soul. There's a flavor that burns intense. Feel the burn. <laughs> That's all I'm gonna do. All right, guys, that wraps up my shoot. Let's go see what this commercial looks like. Let's go. Deep inside your soul is the flavor that burns. Feel the burn. All right, well, there you have it for uh, about three days of uh, work. Um, I don't know how many hours uh, and then editing, put it in there. One of the hardest things was uh, keying those uh, elements with the jalapeno where they float up in the air. I know it wasn't the best, but every single time I get to do this, I get better and better. And I think that's what's important about this is exploring these type of types of editing and uh, doing these type of shoots so I can uh, see what I need to improve on and uh i hope you enjoyed what you saw if you did i truly appreciate you watching it all the way through and enjoying it so you can get some pointers too uh, i get pointers all the time if you like what you saw make sure you hit that subscribe button watch all my stuff because i'm almost monetized and my goal is to get monetized in the next three months but i can get there faster if you watch all my content all the way through and it lets uh, YouTube know that my content is good and deems it worthy of being able to being pushed out in front of other people. But if you like what you saw, write in the comments what you want me to do in the future, what you think is gonna be fun or what you think could be fun. 
and uh, I'll try filming it in some type of creative way and we can go on this journey together. It's all good.